What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And I am so excited right now, you don't even know. As you saw in the thumbnail, that is not me. This is my first contributor video, and I wanna do a bunch of these. Um, and this is from my buddy, Tanya. She is going to be talking a little bit about the Myers-Briggs test, which is to define different personality types that people have. And this is something that I've always been very curious about and I've done it myself. And I personally noticed that I used to be one personality type and then it changed. And Tanya has some great insight into that. So I was like, hey girl, come on over, make a video for me. And she's super well versed on this stuff. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you are new here, I'm always doing videos about mental health, mental illness and addiction. So be sure to click the little subscribe button. But anyways, here's Tanya. What's up guys, my name is Tanya. I'm coming to you live from Los Angeles, California and I'm so excited to be talking to you here today on The Rewired Soul, especially about one of my favorite topics of all time, the psychology of personality, specifically the Myers-Briggs test and how it relates to sobriety. Before we get into that relationship, let me tell you about the Myers-Briggs test. So this is a super popular test and you've likely seen some trappings of it either in your personal life or on social media where I feel like it's kind of trending right now. You'll see people post things like, I'm an INFP or an ESTJ and you're like, am I an ESPN? Is this the new horoscope? What is this? Why does this relate to my life? So what the Myers-Briggs personality test is, is based on Carl Jung's theory of personality. It was developed by two women, Isabel Briggs Myers and Catherine Briggs. They wanted to take his theory and make it accessible to the public, so they created this test. The test will ask you several questions um, to help you figure out your preference on four key categories. So one of them is your favorite world. Are you extroverted? Or are you introverted? Another one will ask you for um, how you take in information. Are you intuitive or are you sensory? Another one will ask you how you make decisions. Are you thinking or are you feeling? And the last one will ask you about how you structure. Are you judging or perceiving? So you'll answer these questions and then you'll get a four lettered category. And this is your Myers-Briggs type. And this will give you information about how you show up best and what you do best in the world. So a lot of people will use this, um, different therapists, different coaches in the workplace. Um, you see this kind of all over. So what does this have to do with um, people in sobriety? So for those of you who know, either you are in sobriety or you know someone in sobriety, as soon as you start to get sober, a lot of amazing things start to happen to you. Um, a lot of these results can be hard. So maybe you have some health benefits like you're losing weight or you correct a heart or liver problem because your consumption habits, your consumption habits have changed. Um, maybe you're saving a lot of money because you're going out less and not spending as much money. Um, and then there are also softer changes that happen. Maybe you're more agreeable and less aggressive. Maybe you are... Uh, more inclined to think before you speak. Maybe you're uh, more willing to pitch in and help. Um, these kind of soft changes are, are kind of fall under the category of what we call like a psychic change. No, it does not mean that you get the ability to read minds in sobriety, as far as we know. But um, these ones are a little bit harder to measure. So I think people really have this question when they first get into early sobriety is like, okay, so if I stop doing this, what changes? What gets better about my life? Because you know very often the problem is not the substance, it's everything that got us there. So what's really cool about this, and I'll share with you a little bit about my story, is that it really, it really does work. So the Myers-Briggs test has always been on my radar. Like I said, huge psychology nerd. For years, I tested consistently ENTJ. So that's extroverted, intuitive, thinking, and judging. Those of you who are privy know the ENTJ personality type can be a little bit severe. Uh, I feel like if ENTJs had a tagline, they would be like, the kick-ass take names kind of people. Um, if you've got a really hard problem, you don't know how to solve it, and you need someone to come in, take the reins, and just get the job done, and you have a friend who's an ENTJ, they're the one you want to call. If you have someone who need to come over and hold your hand and talk you through a tough situation, might not want to call the ENTJ friend. They can kind of have blinders on, and they miss a lot of the um, emotional effects that they leave on people. 
So recently I had just taken this test again um, for something related to work and I, I thought I was all wrapped up and as I had taken the test, I got a different result. Now, this is massive. Um, why is this so massive? Because psychology also tells us that your personality will be stable after your early 20s or so, unless a major life event has occurred and that will often um, change your, your base personality. What could have happened in the last couple of years? Well, um, I'm currently about two and a half years sober, going on three. And this has definitely absolutely changed my personality. And it's amazing to see that there's actually a quantifiable way to measure how it's been changed. So I took the test a couple of times. And so I do still test ENTJ. Um, and, but it's amazing that I do, I have a new result that also shows up. And I think that that just speaks volumes and really answers that question. Does this work? Um, do we kind of go and uh, go through a foundational change to who we are once we start changing our behavior? And the answer is yes. So even more, I'll tell you a little bit more, um, what the difference is. So the, it was ENTJ and ENTP. So it comes down to that last letter, J and P, judging and perceiving. And this discusses the difference in how we approach opportunity. So previously, the judging kind of person will be very focused on one result. They won't take more, they won't take less, but they are getting the result that they came for. The perceiving person might still have a goal in mind, but they're always open to new opportunity on the way. And this is definitely how I've changed. I think prior to uh, getting sober, I could only handle like one way of thinking, one goal. I couldn't handle multiple things coming at me. And I've definitely softened in my time in sobriety where now I can make a goal in mind. But I, I, it's so funny, before I saw this result really take um, like so concrete in this test, I would call it, I leave room for the magic of life now. And maybe you relate to that too. I hope you do. Um, where not everything has to be so severe. Um, I've definitely chilled out a lot. And I know what you're probably thinking, which is, Tanya, how could someone who doesn't do drugs or drink be more chill? And all I'm telling you is, you should have seen me before. So I hope you relate to this. I hope you find this pretty interesting. Um, go take the Myers-Briggs test. You can go to myersbriggs.org um, to learn more about it. Um, share your results in the comments. Or if you have any questions for me or any questions about the test, post them there too. Uh, I know Chris and I want to hear about them. And hopefully I'll be back soon to talk to you guys some more. Have a great day. Can you believe her? She took my question of the day. What's up with that? She's about to steal my job. Anyways, like Tanya said, in the comments down below, leave any questions that you have about all that stuff she went over. I have a ton of questions that I've been writing down and check this out, more exciting news. I told you all that I was gonna be starting a podcast and Tanya is going to be one of my first guests. So be sure to leave your comments down below. If you have questions or comments about different personality types, leave them down there so I have some stuff to talk to her about when I bring her on the podcast. It'll be a live stream as well. I will be posting about it on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter once I know the exact date and time, so be sure that you stay tuned and everybody please give a round of applause for tanya no matter where you are she did an amazing job and i hope to have her back soon but if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and again if you are new here make sure you click that little round subscribe button because i'm always doing videos about mental health addiction mental illness and click or tap on one of the thumbnails next to me because i have a ton of more videos just for you all right thanks for watching everybody and i'll see you next time